Hello, pleased to meet you. I'm a water sommelier. I studied at the Ecole du Lot for four years. Oh, wow. This is what I'm here to talk to you about today, Astoria, which is one of the most pristine and luxurious waters in the living world. This actually comes from Tibet. The nearby monks actually filter it by hand, just passing it from bottle to bottle. It was discovered in the highlands of Scotland and the lowlands of Norway, where they have um, frequent thunderstorms. We actually collect it, bottle it up during the thunderstorm, wow. so straight from the sky nature's tap. Of course, the best cloud for this is the cumulonimbus, and that's why the taste is so very fluffy. Did you get that fluffy yeah, taste? soft. Sometimes, if you catch it just right, you can see a tiny rainbow in there. Yeah. Do you see that? I do. Do you? This is actually 30.5% more wetter than normal water. How can you be more wet? Do you want to see a graph? So it actually aids in concentration. Uh, like before you drink this, you'll be like, oh, oh. And then uh, you have a swig of this and you're like, what? This has been filtered over a period of 300 years. First it goes through sand, then micro sand. Then it goes through a collection of love poems by Robert Burns. And that's what gives it the lyrical taste that you'll taste in a moment. Wow, I'm learning so much about yep. water. Mm -hmm. It tastes amazing. Way different than regular water. That's like that. delicious. What notes do you get when you taste that? Kind of woodsy. Quality, actually. You get like Himalayan pink salt and strawberries. A lot of A-listers use this. What if I told you that this was actually Niagara? Really? Yes. <laughs> well, that's a good quality water, then. You've tricked I'm us. I'm sorry I tricked you. No, so none of that was real? Uh, was we, not... we were real. As a water sommelier, I, I uh, like to sell water, not hype. <laughs> <But> cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> 